When I came out as an atheist, um, as I said earlier, the loss of the, the, the community or the way of life that I had known for the, pre the previous decades was like stepping off a cliff. I mean, it was like losing everything all at once. So it was pretty devastating. The thing that surprised me, however, was the way that the, the secular community really rallied around me. And people that I didn't know probably met at the American Atheist Convention, but you know, you meet so many people, it's hard to remember, um, especially in such an emotional moment. Uh, they're, they're friending me on Facebook and they're sending me private messages constantly saying, how are you doing? You know, having conversations with me, not out of any kind of sense of, um, let's feel her out and make sure she's serious about this and she's not a, a plant, <laughs> an enemy agent, you know, covert operative. It was all very genuine, very heartfelt. I know what you're going through. I've been there. I remember when I first came out. Um, here's some things that work for me. I mean, it was community, really. That's what we're talking about. Community exists, and by our own nature, we want it. And uh, I experienced it all the way through everything I've been through over the last, you know, 11 months has been uh, about a network of free thinkers rallying around me, as I said, and supporting me and supporting my family even. I can remember in Tallahassee, after I came back, uh, the Tallahassee Atheist had a meetup and they invited me to attend. And, and they were supporting me, I mean, in a community uh, atmosphere. So I attended, it was fun, I enjoyed it. I felt, even though I didn't know the people very well, I felt like I was one of them and they encouraged me to bring my husband, uh, which of course he's still a Christian. And uh, the folks that I was talking to was like, we don't care, you know, bring your husband. And so I brought him and they treated him perfectly fine. You know, it was an understanding of, yeah, we think differently on that one topic, but we're still humans and we can still care for one another. So he would go with me every time, you know, drink coffee, talk about science fiction books or fantasy novels or I don't know. He'd always find a group that he would talk with and I would do my normal socialite self and buzz around and talk to everybody. Uh, even after I moved to New Jersey and he stayed in Florida, he went to the atheist meetups on Sunday morning instead of going to church, which I think is absolutely hilarious. But um, that's the kind of surroundings and support and atmosphere uh, and people that came surprisingly to me. I never knew or never even dreamed that that evil atheists could do those kinds of things. But uh, yeah, it was very, very shocking, very surprising, nice surprise.